Let's talk about notebooks. Specifically, the Amazon Basics Classic Notebook with 240 pages of line-ruled paper. On Amazon.ca, you can get this notebook for $12.99, but I often see it on sale. Right now, you could buy this notebook for just over $5 Canadian, which is a really good deal. But is it any good? Is it any good compared to the other brands out there, the Moleskin, the Loistrom 1917s? Let's find out. So on first impression, this seems like a really nice notebook, especially knowing the price. It comes with the hard cover. Obviously it's made out of cardboard. To be honest, it feels very comparable to this Moleskin one I have right here. And Moleskin is like four times the price, uh, about like, 20 25 dollars if this is on sale so right off the bat that is awesome uh, it has these rounded corners which is quite nice um, and the standard elastic band to hold it together bookmark to keep track of where you are and an expandable pocket in the back there but Honestly, it's a kind of no frills notebook. You're not getting anything extra, no table of contents, no page numbers, just lined paper. It's quite nice. Opening it up, it folds really nicely. I would say it even folds better than the Lloydstrom 1917 one I have right here. And I really enjoyed writing with this one. This is top quality stuff. I definitely recommend this one. If you do want to spend around $25-ish, this one is definitely the Loistrom 1917. I think that is how I pronounce it. So back to this Amazon Basics notebook. What I'm trying to say here is that it folds really nicely, which gives you access to the entire page. So you can write in the crease, in the margins, whatever. This is totally doable here. And I really like that. I like the way that it's bound together. I think it's, it's really good, um, especially someone who likes to use all the space in the notebook as much as possible because, you know, save paper. However, one thing does kind of bum me out about this. It's the first page and how it's kind of glued to this other first page here that kind of sucks i mean i know a lot of people don't really write on the first page but i kind of like the option too i think this is a really good notebook especially for its price if you could get this on sale for just over five dollars that is awesome do it however if it is full price 12.99 it's still a good choice. There are obviously some things to consider. It's half as cheap as one of these over here, but let's put it through the ultimate test. Let's put it through the pen test. That's how we can really judge the whole experience with this notebook, right? So I got with me a bunch of different pens and we're gonna try it out right here. First, I have this classic Bic blue pen everybody recognizes this pen it's iconic after that i have the paper made erasable gel pen next i have this deli gel pen it's quite nice next i have a stedler sharpened pencil next i have the pentel energel metal point pen i love this pen i recommend it if you need a pack of really consistently solid, smooth writing pens, choose this one. There's a link in the description. So after testing it out with all these different pens, I can honestly tell you that the Amazon Basic Notebook here doesn't write as smooth as some of these other ones. The Loistrom's 1917, the Moleskin, and the Dingbats I have here, they all feel a little higher quality in terms of the smoothness the, the energy you put in as you go, the friction that is created between you, the pen, and the paper. With that being said, all except for this really bad erasable gel pen here, I think the paper took the ink and pencil pretty well. In addition to that, I think it definitely passed the ghosting test. None of the ink passed through to the other side, which is a really good sign. So. 
it does have that going for it. So the final verdict for this Amazon basic classic notebook is I think it's awesome. I think it's a great price. It's definitely one that I see myself buying again, just for the price point. These ones over here, these are luxury items. And I think part of their appeal is that they cost so much. It's like buying a more expensive wine and then psychologically, you just think it tastes better. However, this will definitely do the job. If you are using multiple notebooks, I definitely think one of them saves some money. Get, get an Amazon basic notebook for one of them, for your journal, for like your most prized ideas. I think this is a good one for it. If you are someone who only use one notebook at a time and it takes you a long time to finish it, hey, if you're just gonna have one, get a really nice one. Get a really nice one. Get this Loistrom 1917. That's, that's my go-to if I have a few extra bucks in my pocket. If I don't, this is, this is a really good choice. Definitely get a bunch if they go on sale for $5, why not? There you have it, those are my thoughts on the Amazon Basic Classic Notebook. My name is Elliot. I make videos about writing and the creative process. If that is interesting to you, please subscribe. With that being said, good luck with your writing. I'll see you real soon.